So here's why I specifically was saying the reason why I felt like, even after episode one, watching episode one, why I felt like Asimov should have been a mainstay villain for somebody uh, to to you know, to be a villain for for Spike. Um, and it's basically because of this this image here when when Asimov is is basically with this this young lady, attractive young lady at that, um, you know, and Spike had the conversation with her, uh, basically, you know, basically back at a, at a, you know, at a gas station, um, you know, the, the thing that popped in my head after watching this episode was the fact that say, you know, Asimov and her, they kind of escape, but they don't, you know, they don't, they don't fully escape. They don't fully get to travel to Mars. They, you know, their, their, their car, uh, spaceship here gets shot down and they go, they come back down to the planet that they're at right now currently. And, you know, they, you know, they're on the run and, and, you know, Spike has to still stop Asimov, but then still kind of like a, like a sort of like a love interest between him and this young lady here is why I'm saying like, if this were to occur, because again, this is just my first time seeing this anime and to see them, the, to see what happened at the end of episode one, I, you know, kind of wish that the writers would have would have went in the direction that I'm talking about, where Spike may have possibly been able to get this young lady out of the hands of Asimov and, you know, in his arms and, and she become his his, you know, his, you know, Spike's uh, woman. Um, but again, you know, that didn't happen, of course, with with specifically what happened at the end of, of episode one, which, you know, sucks big time. Um, and, you know, it just it just seems to me like. To me, at least, I you know there was just a just a glimmer, like a small pinch of attraction between this young lady and Spike. Um, so that's why I'm just basically saying, guys, that you know I kind of wish that after watching episode one, that Asimov and even her, both of them, would have been a mainstay, so that that way there could have been a story behind these three coming back in contact with each other at least a few times with within the the 26 episodes that are that are available for, as far as the show is concerned but that's enough of my rambling. but what did you all think of this topic of discussion guys let's have a talk let's have a chat in the comments if you feel up to it and i will chat with you on the next cowboy bebop video peace guys